my name is Casey Brown and I'm the public relations officer for the Ho-Chunk Nation. The city of Wanakee, as part of the University Year Project, approached the Ho-Chunk Nation to have us talk to them about how the Ho-Chunk have been here prior to the city being here and uh, be able to talk with us to better teach their citizens and people in general in the state of Wisconsin about the Ho-Chunk history. I'm Chris Zellner. I'm the Wanakee Village President. We've been striving to become a very welcoming community, more so than we've ever been. And with that, um, the university reached out to us at the right time. We were looking for assistance and help, and the two parties coming together um, really have been a great benefit and advantage to us. Hi, I'm Gavin Luter, Managing Director of the University Alliance at University of Wisconsin-Madison. I mean, it really came to be because there's a group of people in this community who are passionate about making sure that Wanaki is as welcoming a community as possible, and we just ran from there. My name is Sylvia Guerin, and I live in Wanaki, Wisconsin, the only Wanaki in the world. So I volunteer here in Wanaki um, at the Create Wanaki Committee. The idea of that committee was to generate opportunities for people here in our community to express themselves through art. I brought up an idea uh, that we could do what we ended up calling Wana Keys Home. The Village Hall um, just connected with the University of Wisconsin and the project became a part of the study. And the goal is for the students to help us to amplify and to create other alternatives to do with the project. What's great about the University Year Project in the city of Wanakee is they wanted to implement place-based learning, which is great for the Ho-Chunk because place means a lot for us. A lot of the signage is being changed and updated to include the Ho-Chunk, not only historically, but as contemporaries. But the village of Wanakee has gone beyond that and has further implemented programming within their school system, within the city, and within the community. So it's not just some words, but actual action that they're taking forward. Our students in environmental studies who are studying Ho-Chunk uh, language and culture, um, we're giving them concrete recommendations for how to build a cultural preservation plan. How do you get Ho-Chunk language and culture taught in public schools? Students provided like actual campaign materials, like billboards, social media posts that they could use for these kind of diversity, equity, and inclusion campaigns. It's an ongoing process. It's not like we're gonna get there right away. It's build upon each and every event that takes place. The more education that's out there for our community and citizens, the better they are to understanding one another.